Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving away a huge cottage core box of stationery. So if you want to know how to enter that giveaway, hang around to the end of the video. So over on the community tab a few weeks ago, I asked you guys what snail mail themed video you want me to create and the winner was cottage core so today i'm going to be showing you five cottage core diy ideas that you can send to your pen pal the first diy is going to be this patchwork envelope and i wanted to do this one because i was thinking of what you would find in a cottage um, in the woods um, matching the whole cottage core theme and I thought that you'd most likely find a patchwork quilt so I'm showing you guys how to make this little patchwork envelope I didn't actually get a photo of it finished because it took a while to dry but basically I put all the little pieces of fabric all over it and then I glued again on top and then I just folded it together and it turned out to be a really cute DIY now I'm not giving giving away the actual envelope but I did put a little patchwork kit together so whoever wins this box of goodies they will get their own little patchwork kit that they can then make their own envelopes with. So the next DIY I wanted to do is I basically just wanted to collage on an envelope and give away some stationery that I thought matched the cottage core theme. So this is just me um, collaging and I do have a lot more DIYs for you later in this video but I thought it would just be fun to make some mail art and I picked a brown envelope because I see a lot of people using brown envelopes when they create that cottage core theme because it looks a bit more rustic and I also just went through my stash and it was really fun just going through all my papers and stickers and picking things that I felt like could match um, that like country lifestyle so enjoy this little section while I'm just designing. Now whenever I make collages I usually do the background first so I'll just get lots of different scrap papers and I'll stick them down to create like a mixed media type look for the background and I didn't love the outcome of the back of it but um, this one was a little bit more tricky because the envelope has that little um, what do you call it? like a little latch? I don't know. <laughs> the bit that you wind the string around. Um, so it was hard to kind of like balance everything out when that was right in the center. Um, but I did find a really cute sticker from my cozy sticker collection that I sell on Etsy to put on the back and I thought that kind of evened it out a bit. So yeah, I usually just get a lot of different textures um, and patterns and make the background and then I'll start adding some stickers or washi tapes or um, like um, ephemera on top. So I also found this really cute envelope that was gifted to me and it was actually an envelope flip book. So I took one of the envelopes out and I put the little patchwork quilt inside and I think it looks really cute. So next I'm going to get these pressed flowers and I'm going to actually make a little Polaroid pressed flower DIY. Now I was going to go for a bushwalk and try to find some wildflowers because I wanted to keep these in my journal but we're currently in lockdown here in Brisbane so I wasn't able to go for a bushwalk but instead I just thought I'd use the ones that I've already collected and then I could go collect some more some other time. <laughs> so I actually had these two Polaroids um, in my stationery collection and all I did was cut out the picture that was inside. It was just a fake Polaroid so there was just like a stock image 
and then I cut it so the white bits, um, I kept the, like the outside white bits that make the little outside of the Polaroid. And then all I did was I put the dried pressed flour into a little bag. So it was just a little clear bag. And then just put some double sided tape and I thought this little DIY was so cute and I'm going to probably make a bunch more of them when I go for a bush walk and get some more wildflowers. So this would be really cute to gift if someone likes journaling. So the next idea I have for you guys is really simple. I've just collected a bunch of things that I thought would be nice for someone to journal with or scrapbook with. Um, so I've bundled a few things that I thought would be nice. I've got like see-through envelopes and these like vintage looking stamps and a bunch of like music paper. And all I'm gonna do is just bundle it together, put a wax seal on it. And then in the letter, I'll write a note that this is a little journaling kit. Um, you could also, if you've got a typewriter, and I do have a typewriter, but I completely forgot <laughs> that this was an idea that I wanted to do, was you can type out um, the words journal kit and put it on like a little um, label on the front of it. So you can do some really cute things with packaging. Um, but I really liked the idea of putting a little wax seal on top. I haven't actually used my wax burner for a while and I feel like when I use it, it's a really nice, like, relaxing activity. <laughs> and honestly, I found making this entire cottagecore box really relaxing. I've been really into gifting at the moment. Um, I don't know if it's just because... We've been in lockdown a lot and I haven't been going to like anyone's birthday parties or meeting up with friends or anything. So I feel like I haven't been yeah, doing a lot where you usually give gifts. So it's been nice to just sit down and create little boxes. I've been doing them for my Etsy as well. And I really enjoy packing and, and creating little boxes and gifts for people. So that's why I thought I'd create a little smaller box with this little white one. Um, so all I'm doing again is just bundling up bits and pieces that someone can use for their own collection. I know that I usually make a lot of things that are already pre-made for people, but for this particular box I really wanted to gift a lot of stationery and show you guys different way to pack them. So for this one I've got this like timber box and I'm going to add some of my favourite tea and some washi tapes. And then I'm just going to wrap it up with, um, I've got my own um, tissue paper um, from No Issue. So it's my logo for my business. And I thought it would be really nice just to wrap it and make it like a little present inside of the box. So the next little DIY I have is... It's really, really simple again. All you need is a piece of fabric and a rubber band. And I thought it'd be cute to gift a little jar with buttons inside. Um, but if you're gonna send a box of goodies to someone, you can also send something like jam or honey. Um, I just really liked the idea of gifting buttons. It kind of matched the whole theme that I had going. So all you need to do then is pack up your box and you're ready to send it off to a friend or a pen pal. Um, or someone who you think might really like a little cottage core theme. And then I've also just wrapped it up with some lace around the outside and I've included one of my cottage core stationery sets that I sell on my Etsy. So I thought someone might like that. And I've also just included a wooden stamp. Um, I'm just re-gifting that one because I haven't used it myself, but I thought someone else might like it. So if you want to win this box of goodies, all you have to do is share this video so you can share it anywhere. There is usually a button at the bottom of the screen and it's usually an arrow that says share or you can copy and paste the URL to either like a Facebook group or on Instagram. Um, you can share it on Pinterest. It doesn't really matter where you share it as long as you let me know in the comments. So I do have the instructions for the giveaway in the description section. So yeah, just share the video and let me know in the comments where you've shared it. And also make sure you've subscribed. So I hope you enjoyed watching me create this box of goodies. Let me know in the comments which one you liked best. And I hope you guys get some good ideas and recreate some of these ideas yourself. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.